What's up everybody, Mike Drutar, principal broker, owner, Next Home Paradise Realty. I've got an interesting one for you today, hard hat special. If you're looking for a fixer, this is it. If you're looking for the most unique property you're gonna find on the Kona market right now, this is it as well. Bring your tool belt, bring your contractor, no kidding. But what I have for you is a listing with Cindy Whittemore in our office, listed by Next Home Paradise Realty. And it is what used to be the sales office uh, at Kona Coast Resort, Cuyahoga Gardens, and it's now being sold by the association. So let's flip around and show you what we got here. How many bedrooms is it? Well, one, two, three, hard to say. It depends on how you build it out. So again, this used to be a sales office, so it's gonna take a little bit of vision. They've stripped it down. This is a contractor special. What you're going to find is a large, I believe we have 1,400 square feet plus an unpermitted loft, a large space that is a standalone condo unit. So you have no shared walls with anybody. So that's gonna be unique right off the bat. They've stripped all the carpet out, so you'll put in your own flooring. You can see where there used to be window air conditioner units. And you see the tongue and groove on beam ceiling. So this tells me that there's a lot of things that can be moved. So like this wall, speak to your contractor, but most likely that wall can be completely moved out, making a large living area over here. You're gonna to need to do some work on some sheetrock, if not just replace it. You'll see that there's areas of damage that need to be looked at. Same over here. Another hole where there used to be a window AC unit. So like for me, I would just remove these two walls, make this a large room. I change out our front door there, make it more like a regular door. Another room right here. So again, I think you could do some moving around. There's some network stuff that'll be removed. And we step up. So here's where it gets interesting. We do have some plumbing over here. So I think your contractor would be able to make this a wet wall. Okay, you see where I'm going here with this now. And so that could be your kitchen over there since you have plumbing. Remove these walls. I think this header rail here probably has to stay, but I could be wrong. So then we step up. We have a room here. You can make this a pantry. Who knows? Nice wide hallways. You know, it was for a commercial area. We have what could be a bedroom over here. Add a closet. Do some sheetrock work. Seal that in. Put in a, and you'll see a few of them around here, split AC system. Have another area with some plumbing so you can do some work in here you can sell there used to be some tile so there's one thing about this unit that is going to blow you away one is well the main is it's a point zero seven percent condo ownership so that means your voting rights are pretty pretty low but what it also means is that your maintenance fees are crazy low. We don't even have maintenance fees numbers on it yet, but we believe it's around $100 a month. We'd have to math it out. The way maintenance fees work is your condo ownership share is your share of the operating budget that they have to use to bring in. So if you have a bigger unit, you pay more than a smaller unit. That's why you see three bedroom condos uh, at 1,200 or 1,800 square feet costing more than a 1,200 square foot place in the same complex. They do it by square footage. Square footage determines your percentage of condo ownership, and that determines how much you have to pay of the budget. Well, 0.07% down here is pretty low, so that's what makes it really interesting. It's also zoned for commercial activity. So we're listing this one at 478. We do think we're gonna go over list. Uh, we're, we're having crazy significant interest. I'm here, it's about 930 on day one, and we've already had three people in. 
Um, people bring in their contractors to take a look at it. Uh, but wait, there's more. I'm gonna head upstairs and show you what else we got. Okay, so I just left this large back area. I think this would be a good bedroom back here. And closet, obviously that wall there can go away. And we come out to a lanai, we have some steps down. And then we have some steps up. They have one door here that's been painted shut, so I'm gonna skip that and go to the next door. Serving the same area. This is an unpermitted loft area. We can't find permits on this, but here it is. It exists. And more space over here. So bring your contractor, bring your tool belt, and bring your imagination. Because there's a lot you can do here. It's pretty interesting. Wait, there's more storage back here. Look at this. So this is not included in the square footage that we had listed. I think we have 1,300 square feet or 1,400 square feet. Built in 1991. And you're right here at the corner of where Elite Drive comes up to the stoplight to the Keho Shopping Center. All right, I hope this has been helpful for you. Click like and subscribe. I'll see you again real soon.